I had seen a red hot chili pepper video that he did, the sort of black and white and silver one. And I wanted to do a video to a song called Big Time Sensuality. And I was very aware of that I wanted it to be quite different from human behavior, which is more sort of epic storytelling thing. That Big Time Sensuality was more like a, like a, a personal statement um, that has to be very in your face. I discovered the music and I was like, before she, uh, the album was released, and I was like, oh, what an amazing artist. It sounded so fresh, so new, and so powerful. And, um, and right away I contacted her, and there was a song that I loved, but she just did the video for it, or she just was about to do the video for it. And then she told me about Big Time Sensuality. If I remember it right, Stefan brought the treatment, which we both agreed on. But the budget was very, very little, and uh, one morning she called me and she said, you know what, I think we're not going to do a video for it. We're going to move on to another track, and, 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 because, uh, and I was like, you know what, give me until tonight. And if I can come up with something completely new, completely different, and uh, I said, okay, okay. And then I took the, I had an appointment to do a town and I took the, my mini disc with me and on the way back I was in the, in, in, in the taxi and uh, I was listening and I look at, we were in the traffic and I look at, this, at the streets and I was like, it's perfect, it's perfect for New York. And then he called up a little later with something he thought was even better. And... Um, the idea with the, basically to get a truck and drive up and down Manhattan uh, as long as the light would last. Perfect. The traffic, New York, the big streets, the big buildings. And, and then I called her back right away and then she was very excited. She said, I love it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I guess the idea to put someone on a truck and then kind of drive the truck and you have to like dance really intensely and just that element of danger, and on top of that, do it in a city like New York. I think the policemen were very aggressive, asking us to try to stop to do it, and we were kind of a bit like uh, anarchists, kind of not stopping, and so the police was kind of after us. And then you get all these people, like, actually all those people actually wanting to jump on the truck and take part. It's like, like, are you doing a movie? Like, can I take part? And <laughs> Sometimes I was like, on the track, and I was like, wow, this song is so beautiful. And I was just looking at people passing by, not reacting. And I remember the reaction from the, from the New Yorkers that I've seen everything. You know, they're like, oh, well, you know, what is it? Okay, it's a music video on the truck, okay. And some people enjoy just see, seeing shooting on the truck and being like, yeah, right on, you know. We had like really big speakers, and we were blasting the song. So it was kind of like everybody were kind of listening, and you know what New York people are like, they're very sort of open anyway so everybody would like clapping and dancing along and it, and it sort of was a bit of a sort of a performance statement I guess yeah it was a great day we had we had a great laugh it's like uh, some some artists give you complete trust and I was very lucky or very good at I don't know if it's part of the instinct picking up I mean they picked me but I also picked them picking up like artists that um, I knew that it would be complete trust. And like so, like the number one artist that really say, you know what, I want you to do this video, boom, this is a song, it's Bjork. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's the number one artist that, like high level quality because she completely give you the song and you do your vision. And the Big Time Sensuality video, I don't think I will ever, I, I will not give it to anybody else. How much of it's improvised and how much of it's choreographed by you? Like, do you have rehearsals or do you? Nothing. Just... Nothing is choreographed by me. It was oh. like, it was like, it was like I put the camera. I knew that she will. You know, I, I knew, but I was like, okay, I hope. But she was like, she was like so strong. It's like she came dressed the way she was, and she was so cute. And we did like from, we started probably like at it was like night when it's, when we set it up. So it was like probably six, seven in the morning until night. She probably danced for like nine hours, eight hours. She was so exhausted. The DP lets accord 
uh, was like, do you think I should have a reflector, you know, here? And I was like, uh, yeah, okay, I don't know. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, great, you know, whatever. I, I didn't care. Now it would be more like, a, oh, yeah, maybe it could be better for her. Yes, it's true, yeah. Uh -huh. so, uh, what was your question? <laughs>